Callous and casual was the first murder. The two that followed were calculating and cruel. The man charged with three of Louisville's most horrific homicide cases is finally in court for his trial. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Myra Ansari. I'm John Bolt. More than seven years ago, two teenage brothers were beaten, stabbed, set on fire, and another man was also killed. The suspect out of control several times in the courtroom. And today, a jury heard opening statements in the Bryce Rhodes triple murder trial. And Rhodes is charged with the murders of 16-year-old Maurice Gordon and 14-year-old Larry Ordway back in 2016. Police said the half brothers were found brutally killed. Their bodies left in an abandoned home. Rhodes is also charged with killing 40 year old Christopher Jones weeks before the teen's murder. Wave News reporter Marissa Burke is at the courthouse where trial testimony is finished for today. But during opening statements, we heard from several witnesses already. That's right, Myra and John. Two LMPD officers also testified. One was the second on the scene after Christopher Jones was shot, and the other, he was working the homicide unit, and he explained some of the what we were looking at in those crime scene photos. The Commonwealth attorney claims that Maurice Gordon was driving Rhodes' car when Rhodes shot Christopher Jones. He says Rhodes killed those teens because Maurice was talking about Jones's shooting with others. Three other people have pleaded guilty in connection to the teen's murders, and one of those people is Ja'Cory Taylor, who the Commonwealth attorney says will be testifying against Rhodes. The defense argues that there are no eyewitnesses who were, in, who were not involved in the murders. Also, they say that there is no murder weapon or Rhodes' DNA on evidence. The Commonwealth attorney claims there are other ways Rhodes is connected to the murders. Uh, police go out to Bryce Rhodes' house once they've, once they've heard what happened, and they pull up, they start pulling up the carpet from his house. And when they do a DNA analysis on that carpet, of course, they find the, the blood of the two brothers is there on the carpet. Another piece of evidence that's raising questions is Rhodes' back seat. The Commonwealth showed a picture of it completely stripped. The defense said that LMPD testified that they had a burnt back seat in evidence, but now it's missing. Um, the trial is set to begin again tomorrow around 930, and hopefully we get some more answers. Reporting live, Marissa Burke, Wave.